Cats in Brazos County have tested positive for COVID-19 and doctors still aren't sure what this means for their health. Researchers at Texas A&M are studying how this virus impacts our pets and if they can spread the illness. Janelle Bluta shows us what they've discovered so far. As they pack up their equipment, these Texas A&M researchers are headed out to nine different homes today. Initially focusing on dogs and cats that live in high risk environments where at least one person has been diagnosed with COVID-19. To take samples from their pets. So that would be swabs from the nose, from the mouth, from the rectum, from the outside of the body, and then we take a blood sample. Associate Professor Dr. Sarah Hamer says the researchers are trying to learn a number of things, but mostly did these pets contract coronavirus? We're interested to learn about how long the infection will last, or in the case of antibodies, you know how long their antibodies to the virus will be detectable. They're still early on in the study, but they've already been out to dozens of homes. And so far, at least two cats have tested positive. And we have others in the pipeline that have our presumptive positives, but the confirmation is still ongoing. And they hope the study may eventually find out what sort of transmission a pet can have, if any. You know, from the pet to another animal, from a pet to an owner, from an owner to a pet, um, certainly we're interested in that, but as a first step, we're just going to these high risk homes to figure out if there's even any evidence of animal exposure or infection. But one thing Dr. Hamer knows for sure, if you get coronavirus, your safest bet, protect your pet. Just the same way that you would keep a distance from other humans or wear a mask, you know, when you need to be in proximity with other people, we should really be doing the same for our pets. In Houston, Janabla to KHOU 11 News.